Morning. I am in the town of Langley, or I should say the township of Langley. Over here used to be my grandfather's farm where he grew up for many of his years, where I have great memories. I haven't been here for a very long time. Um, unfortunately, it's no longer with our family. Uh, it is uh, with a different family. But anyways, it's a beautiful place. Guys, today in this video, I'm going to go with the U.S. border. Being in Vancouver, you're very close to the U.S. border. Here in Langley, you're even closer. It's actually maybe like 10 minutes away. So I'm gonna take a little drive and go there myself. Come along for the journey. I'm on the roadside in beautiful Langley. Very quiet, very peaceful. Nice little creek, as you saw earlier. But yeah, it's a lovely day. A little overcast. But anyways, we're gonna go and uh, visit the U.S. border. Come along. So guys, I just stopped. I found a sign for eggs. The man loves his eggs. Got two dozen of these lovely free-range eggs. Six dollars a dozen, which I think is actually quite a good price. Look at those bad boys. I saw a sign on the side of the road, free range. Nice little home. Out of the couple. But I'm gonna try these eggs later, guys. Good, I like free range. Sporting local. Ooh, eggs, baby. All right, guys. I'm in Alder Grove, heading south on 264th Street. Take me right to the border. Aldgrove is a little town outside of Langley. Been here before, not for a while. Hasn't changed much. There's still a McDonald's and a gas station, which I filled up on. Gas is a little bit cheaper. Got it at $1.75. We're in Vancouver, I think it was like $1.85, so about 10 cents cheaper. It adds up. But yeah, guys, gonna follow this street here all the way to Parallel 49. Should be there in about 10 minutes, guys. I'm gonna show you the border we share with Asoidal Seedles with the Americans, Americana. All right, let's go, baby. So, we've long waited, we're at the border. So, this is Zero Avenue. I'm going to take this west, it goes right alongside the border of the United States, which is right over there. That's the United States, guys. A lot of major Canadian cities are within driving distance of the border. Exhibit A. The U.S. border. I think Canada and the U.S. have the longest border in, in the world. Could be mistaken, maybe a different country, but this border stretches very long distance. I'm out almost at the furthest western point of the border. That direction is east. As you can see, that is the United States. Now the border crossing is just further down that road on Zero Avenue. But guys, look at here. The US border. You can literally cross it, guys. But we won't do that, that's illegal. <laughs> so go back in the car, put on down the road. So yeah, it's a pretty quiet border. I can imagine there's probably cameras. I definitely, there's definitely a camera further ahead. I can see it over there. But yeah, this is the border, guys. Not very exciting. But I'm gonna go back in my vehicle and get on going. Before, um, if anybody stops me <laughs> for any federal agents. <laughs> All right, so there is a sign here. You see that? Well, cut off to see, but it says Canada. This is the border. I think there's like a sound alarm thing over there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna think it for long and get back in the car. So guys, back in the car, just right over here, that thing right there, I think that's like an alarm system or 
Not really sure exactly if it sounds off if you cross the border illegally. Don't do that. But yeah, it's starting to rain a little bit. Gonna make my way uh, west along Zero Avenue and head back to Vancouver. Gonna stop in a little town on the way called White Rock, which is um, just south of Vancouver, right by the border. And yeah, I go from there. Yeah, it's a, a huge ass border, guys. Lots of places to, uh, like how many border crossings they have? Tons. But anyways, yeah, there's the state of Washington. Very cool. All right, time to get time to hit the road, Jack. It's like a wetland over there, guys, on the border. So just back there, maybe a kilometer uh, across the border, there was a black car. It looks like a, like border services, the Americans there. And there's like literally a house just right across. So you say, hello, America. Hello, Canada. Yeah, it's a beautiful border. It's, you know, all forested and not much action over here. It's pretty quiet, but it's quite lovely. It's a very peaceful area of, I guess I'm still in Langley, maybe Surrey now. Long drive, but lovely. So guys, look at that. That is America. People's homes in the United States. Right on the border. Pretty cool. Look at that. Literally right on the border. Me and my grandfather once drove this route many years ago. Um, so fond memories driving along here and thinking of him. My grandfather Doug, great man. So that's nice, actually a nice scenic drive, you know, little hills and valleys and beautiful places. Got some heavily forested areas. Some open fields, quite beautiful. So yeah, that is the border. Officially the border to the United States. And we are in White Rock. So I'm on the Simon Fraser Bridge, heading back to Vancouver. Then stop in uh, White Rock, decided to go on through. But entering back to the city of Vancouver. It's been a nice little ride going to the border, which was cool. Um, beautiful area of Langley. Saw it by my grandfather's old place as well. Hope you're enjoying the video, guys. But I'm gonna sign off for now. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao.